Hey there, I'm Detective Warren. Thanks a lot for coming in today. I'm here to just ask you a few questions about the incident from last night. Look, I know it's kind of troublesome, but we have to question all the witnesses that were present. I know you're not involved with anything, but I'm just here trying to get this done as soon as possible so we can both go home. So let's get started. What is your name? Got it. How are you feeling today? Got it. Ugh, there's nothing to be worried about. I'm pretty tired myself. I've been having the hardest time sleeping lately because I keep having this strange dream. You know what? Just last night, I dreamt I was stuck in a war zone surrounded by enemies with only one bullet left. Doomed to be defeated and skinned alive by those bastards. And I sure as hell wasn't gonna let them catch me alive. So you know what I did? I bit the bullet. <laughs> But it turns out it was all just a dream. <sighs> it's a bit dramatic to shoot myself, but at least I'm out of there now, right? <laughs> Anyways, you don't want to hear me go on and on and on about my weird dreams. So let's get back to the case. So tell me where you were last night. Okay, so you must be wondering why I'm asking you all these questions. Well, you see, last night there was an accident. Well, we're not sure it was an accident. Do you recognize this person from last night? Uh-huh. You see, this girl was found dead last night. Her name was Leanne. It's a real tragedy. I can't even begin to imagine what her family is going through. I will be devastated if something like this happened to my little girl. But look, I know you don't have anything to do with this, and I can tell. You seem like a good person who was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. So don't worry. I'm gonna step out for a second to finish up some paperwork, and I'll be back in a while. I just hope we can figure out this case together so that poor girl's parents can get some closure. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, listen up. I spent the last 18 hours working on this case, having to question a bunch of hysterical kids I don't give a damn about. And I'm definitely not interested in hearing any sob story bullshit from you. So don't start any funny business with me. Got it? Let's begin. Restate your full name for the record. Uh huh. Who were you with last night? What? Don't lie to me. <laughs> mm. Yes. I just spoke with your alibi from last night, actually. They had quite a lot of interesting things to say about you. And where did you say you were last night? And were you intoxicated in any way? <laughs> Listen, kid. You and I both know that you were definitely wasted last night. I can see how hungover you are right now. These bright lights must be bothering you, huh? Good. Your alibi claimed you were not on good terms with the victim. Why is that? Right. So why did we find a concealed weapon on your persons last night? Sure. Enough! I don't know why I'm sitting here wasting my time asking you these questions. I spoke to every other witness from last night, and they all say you were the one acting weird. Even your alibi claimed you were doing suspicious stuff. And now you're trying to tell me that you had nothing to do with this murder? We both know you're guilty. Her cold, dead body is being examined right now as we speak. And all we need is just a connection to you. A girl was murdered. Shot in cold blood. A girl you have some bad history with. And you're trying to tell me that you had nothing to do with this? <laughs> then what's that? <laughs> you have some audacity coming in here with the very same gun you killed that poor girl with. I am sick and tired of scum like you thinking you can smooth talk your way out of a fair judgment. Hey there, sorry it took a while, just finishing up some paperwork. We've had a long day, right? 
Don't you want to get back home? I know I do, so I can rest easy knowing you. I mean, the perpetrator is locked up. Uh, you look a little sick. Are you feeling a bit uneasy? Are you feeling a bit uneasy? I see. I gotta be honest with you. This case is really, really starting to get to me. Such a tragic thing to happen to such a promising young girl. She had so much going for her. Good grades, loving supportive friends and family, and all that was taken away from her in a single moment. By someone who clearly had some kind of malicious grudge, but wasn't man enough to look her in the eyes as she died. A gunshot to the back really says a lot about a person. So tell me, how do you even feel about this whole incident? Okay, you know, your alibi was going on and on about how she had never seen you so drunk before last night. Don't you think it was irresponsible of you to be so intoxicated? Hmm, I see. It seems like you and your alibi stories don't exactly line up. To be honest, she didn't have a lot of good things to say about you. Do you even trust your alibi? Well, I thought she was a very nice and open person. And she seemed to have a lot of inside information on you and your relationship with the victim. Wait, what did you say your name was again? <laughs> did I ask you that already? My bad. I just want to make sure I have all my facts straight. Just like you. We both know was really in control here, don't we? <laughs> do you believe in karma? Or do you believe in taking matters into your own hands? <laughs> of course you would say that. You're a prideful person, aren't you? The kind of person who wouldn't be able to handle it if someone else was getting ahead of them. You used to be the one everyone loved until you and Leanne had that fight, and everyone took her side over yours. It must have really bothered you, and I bet you couldn't handle it. Is that why you followed her to the bathroom last night? And made sure to take your gun with you? And why no one could find you when the gunshot was heard? You can't even look her in the eyes, you coward. Why did you kill Leanne? <laughs> well, I think things are getting a little out of hand. It's been a long and weird day for me, and you. Let's take a break for today, huh? Oh hey, one last thing. Do you think if I didn't shoot myself in my dream, would I still be trapped in that hellhole right now? <laughs> I guess only one way to find out.